Hey guys, how y'all doing? Good morning, good evening, good afternoon to all those around the world. Welcome back to another Dead by Daylight video. Today, we're playing with Pig in the swamp. I know, Pig in the swamp makes sense, but at the end of the day, I hate this map. I hate this map, depending on what killer I'm playing. Particularly, Pig's all right, right? She, she's okay here. It's just a really big map for her. And at the same time, your boxes are kind of spread out. And then survivors are also they're you know they're not paying attention whereas uh i get value already considering he was already in my terror radius when i down here and i thought she was afk but it looked like she wasn't which is good for me right their first hook straight away we are running with scour scourge hooks here where as soon as you hook a survivor the gen will start regressing by about eight percent now i think the perk for pig right now with this build setup is actually pretty solid i think the perk overall is very 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 good but right now we're playing an interesting build setup. We're running Sloppy Butcher, we got Jolt, we have Frightening, and then we're running the, the Scourge Hooks over there. Scourge Hooks in general is just super, super good. Now, you may be wondering why I use my power so frequently. It's because I'm so used to using my power when it comes to Pig. You know, coming back to DVD is a little bit, a little bit different now. It's not that bad. And she just, I'm assuming she has borrowed time, so I'm not gonna go ahead and tag her. Might as well get this man a free, stop, or free hit for Sloppy Butcher. It's all good. Yeah, she must have borrowed time. That's fine. Where'd she go? Back on the ship, maybe? Hmm. There's not really many pallets left up here that they have to use. Ah, there you are. I'll see you, bud. Nice, nice dead heart, I guess. I wasn't even near you. Good luck, though. There we go. Value down there as well. Considering they're in my terror radius, Jolt can activate as well. Start hitting that regression. What, what, what are we doing here? There we go. Dude is wiggling super hard. Might as well put him in the basement right quick. I mean, it is what it is. Hopefully they come down here. Hopefully they come and pick him up. If they don't, they don't. I'll take the free value. Now, when it comes to kit this killer right now, we are playing with two different add-ons in which automatically iridescent start the survivors with the head traps, right? That way we don't have to worry about wasting our time. Well, Sorry about that. I mean, I guess, what are you doing? What are you doing? Anyway, they start with the head traps, right? So that's great. That's already a slowdown in itself, so I don't have to run corrupt intervention. It still works, but at the same time, most survivors will just instantly start the round and go look for the, you know, the head pop traps. How to remove them and stuff. They go ahead and start doing that. Whereas if I run intervention, I feel like I have two slowdowns that I don't need. I feel bad because he just disconnected as well. I guess this game is uh, pretty much over, right? It's all good. We'll jump into another one after this one. It's all fine. But either way, at least we can see the build, how it's going to activate, how it, how it works. We'll dive into it in detail the next round. Assuming she's right here somewhere. Where's she at? Uh, they all disconnected. Cool. Way to go. Either way, see you guys in a quick second. Let's go. How y'all doing? Welcome back to round number two, featuring Pig and Dead by Daylight. Sweet. Y'all didn't get Leon right off the bat. Awesome. Figured he was over here messing with the gen, because I heard her going off, trying to get her hat off. Whoop chick's all over here giggling. I don't know what that was about. Maybe she meant to drop the pallet, but instead crouched instead. Misclick, perhaps? I'm not sure. But I think the idea was to drop the pallet there, I guess. Maybe. Or maybe she didn't want to waste it. This is that one map in which is very, very difficult for a lot of killers, especially Pig here, I think. I think this is a harder map for Pig. I could be wrong, but I feel like they have better, uh, they have better loops here for her to deal with. It kinda, it's kind of difficult, especially the TNL wall is over there in the jungle gems. Because sometimes you can spawn two, three jungle gems on this map, which is horrible for her. I figured she was around the pallet. Yeah, she totally got me. Yeah, she did. Oof. Big oops. But it's okay, it's okay. We're running Sloppy Butcher, Infectious Fright this round as well, Scourge Hooks, and Jolt. I don't know what that rubber band was. thought there was something in front of me there for a second, but I guess not. Dude, wait, are we, are we just doing this again? This is what's happening. I probably really should be wasting time with this, but it doesn't look like they're working on generators right now, which is cool with me, I guess. They're sitting here trying to pop their heads off, or pop their hats off, which is okay, because I can spend a little bit of extra time trying to chase her down. Although she did loop me pretty good the first time because I did not see which way she went. I thought she was going to drop the pallet, but instead she just kept running forward. 
And she's not looking back. I assume she has dead heart here. Which would make sense. Yeah, she does. Okay, cool. Get this pallet out of the way. You're gonna flashlight me. Yep, whatever. You definitely got me that time. But it's okay. It's okay. We all make mistakes. I'm assuming they're actually working on a generator. I mean, I would hope so. Because that would be, would be one free gen you guys could have gotten. There it goes. Alright, cool. So that means all the traps are activated. No one removed any of their helmets, which is great. I kept her in chase the whole entire time, so she couldn't remove her helmet. And looks like Ace automatically started with head traps. Cool. Thanks, bud. So what that means is you, with this iridescent, you start the game. Wow. That undetectable for my uh, power there. Pretty good. But um, you start the game wearing all head traps, right? And the first person that pops a generator, your traps then become active. Which, in itself, is a corrupt intervention. It's a hex ruin, whatever you want to call it. It's it's slow down, you know, out the gate. So that means with this iridescent, you don't necessarily have to run corrupt. You don't have to run ruin half the time. Ooh, the only reason why, dude, the undetectable from a power. Good job. Way to go. Jigsaw laughing at people whose misfortune, whose misfortune is not a very good idea. Seems very rude, buddy. But. You know, it is what it is. We get our on the scar check right away. The object is to get as many survivors down as quickly as you can in the early game to just keep getting value from scourge hooks. I get it. Scourge hooks are, you know, throughout the map. There's like four of them positioned weirdly sometimes, depending on the map. I see Ace looking at me inside the window. I don't think I can catch him, but apparently Leon's back here as well, which I'm not mad about. Don't know why you're over here, but it is what it is. Looks like Ace got his helmet off, Leon got his helmet off, and we have two more to deal with right now. I do just want to kind of slug him, but again, the value is getting them on this, uh, the scourge hooked as quickly as you possibly can. Like, that is the name of the game. Now, there are a lot of content creators who kind of just skip time to hook survivors, which is fair. I might start doing that as well, just because it's just, it's so much quicker. You know what I mean? But, you know, we might be doing that start in the next video and what have you. But for right now, just for this one in particular, just so you guys can see what exactly goes on. And when I say whatever, whatever, especially I'm still getting my feet wet back, coming back in the DVD. I don't know why you just unhook in front of my face like that, dude. That's crazy. You really just put Leon pretty much almost on death hook. Bro, you don't have anything here. I'm assuming you don't have DS as well, but the way you're playing. But we'll see. We will see. So yeah, cool. So I didn't see him heal anybody or whatever, so I just automatically assume he didn't have it. Now that could have bit me in the butt right there and I picked him up in DS and obviously we got away, whatever. But at least I've been one DS I wouldn't have to deal with. You gonna fall down? Yeah, sweet. Awesome. Oh, it's her again. Great. I always forget what her name is. It's fine. This time around, I got you. Because you don't really look behind you. Oh, never mind. This is that one loop that I have trouble on sometimes depending on which killer I'm playing. I think I spend too much time here trying to mind game it. I mean, I could I could follow around it pretty pretty decent, right? I can do that. But, especially considering I'm playing Pig, she pretty much needs to look at me from the other side of the, the tractor, so it, it puts myself at a disadvantage by trying to mind game it. I just really want to get the pallet out of the way and move on. There's no point in just wasting too much time there. I'm assuming she's about to mess up here. Where are we going, girly? Yep. No. Oh, that pool, though. Nice dead hard. Ooh, that was awkward. Get back here. Yoink. And there goes, uh... There goes Fright. Paying dividends again. Got three targets over there. Might as well drop her on this hook on this, on this side of the map. So that way they have to play into me. Everyone has their hats off now. So that slowdown actually pays dividends. It, it, I think it's pretty good. Especially her iridescent, and I'm excited. it's pretty, pretty solid. It doesn't make Pig an S tier killer or anything like that, but it makes her a little bit better, right? I, Leon, I know you see me, but you should have ran already. Like, come on now. If you see me and I see you, come on, buddy. It just makes sense. Go get a free M1 off here. He has to deal with Sloppy Butcher here. All right. Might as well just go ahead and go to the hook, because I think he's going to go try to. Yeah, he is. Wow, so we're just trading. That's what we're doing. Cool. That sucks, dude. I'm assuming that's Ace server there, because he's not doing much. Dead hard? No? How about now? No? Alright. Cool. 
Now, her, I wasn't certain if she had borrowed time or not, so I was kind of chilling a little bit. Poor Leon. I'm sorry, buddy. I haven't seen Ace come up to take a hit or remove anyone from a hook. He only removed you one time. That was pretty much it. And that's the thanks you get, Leon. Good job, buddy. Sick, sick with Resident Evil, apparently. Where are we going to toss you at? Oh, cool. Another scourge hook. Let's go. Get some more value out of this. Where are you at? Who are we popping today? Nice. Another regression on that gen over there. She's dead. He's dead. It's like we're doing pretty solid. Four gens left. Looks like this. I'm assuming this team is having trouble. I'm not sure why, but it looks like they are having trouble. Like I said, I haven't really seen Ace play any dividends or do anything relevant so far all game. The only thing I've noticed was he started the, uh, the trap timer just like, oh, she's giving up. Okay. It's like he started the trap timer so early, like, you know, instead of trying to remove some traps from the, from you guys' head, from their heads, instead, he just like, let's, let's immediately just do this gen. I mean, what do you to do? It's not like, it's not like I, I can tell him not to do that. I, I assume that's the issue, though. Because this map right here is kind of survivor favor, depending on what killer you're playing, 9 out of 10. But at the same time, there he goes. Starting the head traps would have been probably the better idea to try to remove at least a couple of them. All right, buddy, what's the what's the play here? The first loop you try to do all day. What you got? Nothing. Cool. Nice. Good job. All right, Mr. Ace, I'll give you a chance. Why not? He's upstairs. I'm going un undetectable for a quick second. All right, so everyone's dead. Give Ace a second life here. See what he's gonna see what he's gonna do with it. All right, nothing really. Holy shit! Ah, uh, <laughs> dude, how unlucky is that? All right, whatever. It sucks to suck, I guess. Drop the pallet, sure. He's fully healed already. No big deal. So I have to two tap him again. It's the first one. Nice. Nice job. You almost got me. You're gonna cross the pallet? Yeah, you are. Good job, buddy. You're so good at this game. Oof. I really think he just pretty much ruined the game this time for his team by just starting that gen so early instead of trying to pop head traps. But hey, what do I know? Either way, hopefully you guys do enjoy this type of games, man. I am super excited to get back into playing Dead by Daylight. I have so much fun with this game. I got a, a lot of beautiful thumbnails coming up here soon. Some cool killers I'm going to start playing. Like I said, I want to play other killers other than just Spirit all the time. So it's a little interesting for me to sit down and be playing like Pig and stuff and Huntress and all these sort of killers. But either way, this has been Paul's Blaze. So hope you guys smash that like button, control that Discord, and tell me I suck. It is what it is. I will catch you guys in the very next video. Stay safe out there.